In this video, we will be covering the install of six Rimicon 24 volt LED IP pot lights in the master bedroom. Here is a glance at the ceiling of the master bedroom prior to our install. And here is the final product after installing our six LED pot lights in this master bedroom. For this install, we will need a single Rimicon IP controller, one 24 volt power supply, and six Rimicon LED IP 24 volt pot lights. Pictured here are the recommended tools for this install. A marker and tape to mark the install locations. Tape measure the size of the room previous to installing. A stud finder to locate and avoid collision with beams. A power drill with necessary attachments. An X-Acto knife, a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and finally a recessed lighting hole saw. We begin by drilling a pilot hole into our marked install locations. We place a piece of tape where the pilot came through to mark this location. Right, Once each pilot hole is marked, we can gently cut and pull the insulation away from the install site prior to drilling our recess holes. Once we've cut and separated our insulation away from the drill site, we can begin by cutting our holes where the pot lights will fit snugly into. Now that we have each hole cut in the size, we can head back up into the attic and feed the wiring down into the holes that we just cut. We make sure to zip tie and mount our wires for organizational purposes as well as clean wire management. While still in the attic, we begin to mount our 24 volt power supply to an available beam. There are two mounting ports on this power supply, one on the left and one on the right. You can mount each of these with a single screw. Now that we've firmly mounted our power supply, we can also go ahead and mount our IP controller as well. We then strip and connect the power and data cables, making all necessary connections. The power and data wires are then mounted to the proper terminals on the controller. To the left we have our power mounts, and to the right we have our data. We then head back down to the master bedroom to wire the pot lights to the cables we lowered into the holes earlier. We then snap the connection into place on top of the pot light and gently raise it into the ceiling, making sure to fold both clips back. Once mounted, the clips will hold the unit in place. Heading back up to the attic, it is important that we replace the insulation that we moved earlier. The install is now complete and we have six brand new pot lights installed at this location. After downloading and configuring the Rimicon app, we take control of our newly installed recessed lighting and can manipulate them at will. Now that the physical hardware installation is done, we can now add the driver to our project. Let's head over to www.houselogics.com. We can navigate to online store on the left and simply search for Rimicon in the search bar. We'll scroll down the page a bit and select the Rimicon LED IP controller product page. On this page, you'll see the free driver download link. Let's go ahead and download this driver now. Locate the driver and drag it into your Control 4 Drivers folder. Here I have a shortcut made, but the default driver's location is My Documents, Control 4, Drivers. Now that we have that loaded, we can go ahead into Composer and add it to our project. Simply search for Rimicon, and it'll be the first one labeled Rimicon LED Controller. Double click to add this driver into your project. Once added into your project, the only property that you will need to configure is your IP address. This is where you will enter the IP address of your device. We 
please note that at the time of writing, the Rimicon app does not support setting a static IP address. You will want to create a DHCP reservation on your network router, such that the IP address for the device does not change. For more information on Rimicon 24V LED IP pot lights, or for our other Rimicon products, please visit us at www.houselogics.com. Also, you can contact us at support at houselogics.com slash support. We are also available by phone at 610-928-3695.